Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. When we last left off, we were exploring Brookhaven and we had managed to get to the third floor. We've just met Laura, who is behind that door. Unfortunately, we can't get to her yet. So we're going to have to solve an elaborate maze of puzzles before we can get to her. But that's not a problem. That's what we were put on this planet to do. And that is indeed what we are going to do. Hello, my dear. Don't mind me. Just allow me to do some minor surgery on your upper back there. There we go. The problem is you needed your discs fused together. You're welcome. Okay. All right, Jay. <laughs> All right, Dr. James. That, that's plenty. That's plenty. She's had enough. You'll never walk again. So, that's the key that I was hoping for, for downstairs. Good, good, good. Come on, James, through the door. Ah, what do we have here? We have... Dr. Andrews, we delivered the radiographs you requested. However, it looks like the file was incomplete, as one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We will send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay. So, one of the radiograph pictures is missing. That's problematic. We don't know why that's problematic, but I'm sure we're going to find out. Yes. Score. That is exactly what we want. Hmm. Nothing. Can't even get through that room. But we can unlock this door. James, you're being a bit weird getting through doors at the moment. Ah. That one is locked up. No problem. I'm sure we can solve that little dilemma any goodies in here observation notes patient number nine day one patient transferred for observation malnourished shallow breathing avoids eye contact agitated in presence of staff frantic at the notion of touch day two patient refuses solid food uh nastrogastric Force nastro, nastro force feeding required. Serotonin uh, antonogists administered to reduce nausea and vomiting. Day three, patient restrained for bathing and feeding. Prepare the treatment tube accordingly, or the treatment room accordingly. Progressing uh, malnourishment, oxygen deficiency, self-injury suspected, could not confirm. Day four, something is very wrong. Yeah, this patient uh, nine looks like no matter what they tried to do, nothing seemed to improve the condition. All right, well, we can't worry about a patient nine. That is certainly none of our business. Who is wandering around? Oh, hello. <laughs> Who is wandering around? It's a nurse. We had the drop on her as well. No matter. Just provide some knee surgery. And then the reconstruction. Does that feel good, love? Be a new woman in no time. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Something. All right, we'll take it. Better than nothing. Okay, so let's get back downstairs. And we need to look in the uh, examination room. Which should now be open. Yeah, we need to go through. Do the twisty twist. 
through here. And then this away, man. Little S configuration. And downstairs. And hopefully there's a room that is now open that was not before. You know these nurses, they like to wander around. There she is. Hello there, my dear. You coming this way? I wouldn't advise it. I guess it's your life. You're just going to stay there and chill? You're going to let me get around you? And perform surgery on your back? Nope, right, she's grumpy. She's grumpy. Come on, love. You don't make this easy, do you? Ooh. Hello. Didn't even see you. Sneaky little bugger. Honestly. Friend of yours? Oh, you just met. Fair. Well, let's go rummage through these drawers. And there we have it. At least she was there. At least who was there? There's more nonsense going on outside. Hmm. Now, is that somebody getting back up? Doesn't look like it. James, again, getting stuck. You need to learn how to get through doors, mate. It is a skill that we are required to uh, perfect. Ah, hello. Wait there a minute, love. That's it. Allow me to make friends with your back. At least my size 13 and my pipe want to intimately get to know your back. All right. So, in a ward key. Well. This is somewhere new. Let's see if we can't get the drop on this one. There we go. Lovely. Sorry, love. This hurts you more than it hurts me. There you go. And you can piss off an all mate. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Right, so, where are we? After we were so rudely interrupted by the cats. At least I was. I'll cut that out. Right, let's go have a little look in the Z Doctor's lounge. Anyone in here? Was it quiet? It seems quiet. This case bears a disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was administered on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family, his condition appeared to be improving. For the first few weeks, uh, the administered medications paired with individual sessions with a physiologist and art therapist alleviated his avulation. And uh, and he donor and he donor and social withdrawal. There was no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong until the night the guard reported one of his keys was missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Oh my! Oh, I guess it didn't uh, didn't end too well for that patient. Let's say which patient it was. No. Okay. And there is very important. Key combination note for the nurse's room. We read about that earlier. All right. There is clip. More or less. Ooh, do want that though. Nice. We do like our supplies stashed away in lockers. That door is going to stay shut. Okay. 
So. We could potentially head up there. And sort that out now. But we got to go back there eventually anyway, so. Let's head through this room. Come on, love. Come administer my medicine. I've been a naughty boy. I could use a severe beating. No? There you go. Almost like I walked out of thin air, huh? Ow, ow. Love, come on. Let's make this nice and easy for you. Ow, ow. Oh, she, oh, she's a spicy little sausage. Honestly. These nurses, man, they don't mess around at all. You cannot drop your guard around them. Luckily, we've got these dirty syringes that keep us going. Okay. Ah, nothing in the medical box figures. Seems to always be the way. Ooh. Lovely. Hmm. We have a hole in the ground. And not a pleasant hole in the ground. Are there ever pleasant holes in the ground? We may never know. Another incident with patient five. He got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was still here. He was completely mani manic, screaming he had the ordeals. Uh, he had, oh, had the orderlies hold him down. Barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room for now, sedated. That doesn't sound good. I think some of these patients would be better off in an asylum. Okay. This place looks spicy. No matter. Let's drop you. Yeah, this place is really spicy. Now, remember the note from... A good while ago. About a sea of misery. Finding a bastion. An island or something like that. Well. I think. We have just about found. What the note was referring to. Nice try sir. Oh god, that was a that was a fast spurt. Ah, I got you. Let your guard down, my lad out. Uh, oh god, hello. We let our guard down, you little asshole. Yeah, none of that, please. Okay. So yes, an island of respite. Well, let's go have a little look inside, shall we? Whoop. Yep. She's a fast one. Whoop. You know what? In these close quarters, it's probably just best to shoot her. Another syringe. Some more bullets. And this is only available on New Game Plus. A small chest. Well, well, well. If we use the rusted key on the small chest, we get the white Claudia. Hmm. Probably not important. Okay. Let's keep going. Some shotgun shells here. Have those. All right. Bullets. 
Now, let's head inside. Ooh, we have a pool. How nice. How lovely. Oh, there's a door. One second, guys. Well, I was hoping that was my new needles um, for my jacket. I need to sew a load of patches on my jacket. I've ordered a nice new needle kit. Um, it was not. <laughs> it was some guy to read the meters. Excellent. All right, well, that's... Oh, great, nothing. Yeah, this looks very nice, very fancy. Not sure I'd like a dip in that, but hey, whatever. Hmm, I don't think the white Claudia is going to help us much with that trap door. Um, I always think that there's a, a photo in this room, but I don't think there is. Hello. Oh, really? You're going to bother me with your nonsense? I know you're in there, sir. Ma'am. It. Whatever. Oh. Honestly. You absolute dick. But you're dead now and I'm not, so... Which one of us is winning? <laughs> Wait. Which one of us is winning? Let's get this opened. Now... There is the surgical tubing that we need. And they changed that as well, I believe, um, in the original. Uh, it wasn't surgical tubing that we actually got our hands on. It was... Um, it was just line or... Uh, no, it was a strand of hair, wasn't it? But again, I think this... Uh, it's hard to say whether it makes more sense because you're in Silent Frickin' Hill. You know, everything in Silent Hill is just a little bit weird, a little bit offbeat. But, um... Ah. Uh, I, th I suppose the rusty needle and... the uh, hair was just grimmer, I suppose? More disgusting? But this makes more sense. I think, personally. I don't think one method is genuinely better than the other. It's just different. Which I think is, you know, how I see a lot of stuff in this game. I don't know whether it's the story beats and the puzzles are generally, genuinely better. It's just different. You know, it's kind of like the Resident Evil remakes, where they sort of felt like two steps forwards and one back. I wouldn't say two steps forwards and three back, but, you know, it was not necessarily 100% better. Where are we going here? But it was just different. Different in a good way. Where you can still enjoy the originals, and for those of us who want the remakes and enjoy the remakes, we have those as well. So, maintenance key. Let's drain this water, shall we? Get that done. And what is that going to yield us? Some strange dead bodies down here. I like the way their blood is just pulled out. It hasn't mixed into the water or whatever. Kind of strange. Bloodstained bracelet. Well, we'll take it, I suppose. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Probably should have stayed outside in the rain. You wouldn't be dead then. Okay. So, we've got some more key items. Now, where haven't we been? Oh, we've got the whole cafeteria and all that lot to examine. Um, yeah. I do have some uh, notes that I am referencing. All right, let's get that opened. That's going to save us a little bit of time later on. 
Alright, let's see if we can't... Not necessarily ambush this nurse. There she is. She's literally right there. Oh, she's seen us. Oh. Oh. I've never seen them go down like that before. That was quite cool. Oh, evasive maneuvers. She is a naughty nurse. Naughty, naughty, naughty bitch. She's dead now. Whew, she wasn't going down easy, was she? All right. So, let's see if we can't ransack some supplies. I swear to God, if the door goes again. <clears throat> I think in this recording session, the door has gone three times. Okay. Well, I don't think I would uh, be eating anything out of this kitchen. Mold remover. Well, we'll take it. It's in the walls, deep inside. The mold remover gets rid of it for a while. But then the thing reappears in the exact same spots. We need to get in there, break it all down if we have to, and root it out. Ah, uh, yep. That's the trouble with mold. It generally comes back. Nasty stuff. We have a few problem areas in my house. Oh, that wasn't great. Almost got the drop on it. There we go. That's what we want. We want her to go down on one knee properly. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. So, five mils for celiac disease. Patient broke a whole cart of Dinner plates. Need to stock up Monday. Breakfast. Oatmeal with fruit. Lunch. Baked beans. Sausage. Eggs. Side of salad. Dinner. Pork cutlets. Potatoes and grilled vegetables. Well, I mean, doesn't sound too bad. That's for sure. Looks like there's a nurse enjoying the TV. I guess static seems to be a popular... Thing to watch around here. Can I have the bullets, please? Thank you. Hmm. Guess we're not getting anything here. Now, that nurse... That nurse is kind of happy to just chill for a bit. Now, we've got a lion guy. Just there. And... Not sure if you could make it out, but there is also a mannequin behind this pillar. This area is kind of hot indeed. Let's see if we can't deal with this guy quiet like. We can and we did. Now, can we knock out this naughty nurse? in the same manner. No, we can't. Alright, I'm not sure where the mannequin woman is. Not taking any chances with her. That's quite enough out of you. Where's the mannequin? There is one here somewhere. Where are you? No, seriously, where are you? I know there is one here. Maybe she's a little bit further on. Hmm. How strange. There's definitely usually one. Alright, whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to complain too much. That's weird, man. There should be a mannequin. There's a mannequin, a lion guy, and a nurse in there. And I know there is. Right. Well, anyway. 
We need to go back up to the second floor now because we've got the nurse's station note. Let's go. We are running out of time again as well, which is suboptimal. I'm actually really having a good time with this game. This is my third playthrough of it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm still having a blast. Okay. Let's go check on Maria. See if she's okay. Ah, she's fine. Just having a little bit of a sleepy. It's fine, I understand. Tired. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. No thanks. Stay down. Good girl. Cool. Right. So, the code for this is uh, seven. No, three, five, seven, eight. Open says me. And inside, we've got some bullets. Now this place is going to need a whole load of work before this is ever sanitary and ready to be a hospital again. Ugh. They fed me garbage and rotting meat, crawling with maggots, thick with sinew. They made me bite down, the juices red and yellow, hit the back of my throat. And I choke and I gag and I vomit till my throat is sore. An aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out. I can still taste it. They bathe me in filth and blood and piss and bile. Gently rub human waste all over my body. My skin itches. It peels off like wet paper. I beg them to stop, but they don't listen. And then they lock me up with him. He's always there, closer each time. And the rot, it comes with him. It goes within. It becomes me. That doesn't sound good, does it? So that is the patient that, uh, yeah, had to be manually fed. Oh, we've got a moldy photograph. Okay. So we have a mouldy photograph. Well, just so happens that we have some mould remover. Good stuff. Now, we know. That's the station. Right, we need to go back upstairs. And upstairs, we have that puzzle involving the x-ray machine. So, it seems like a good idea to go play with that now. Okay. Is that up here? Ah, it is. Excellent. Right. Like nothing else has spawned in here. This is good. Okay, so we've got you, and we've got you, right, so we know that, must go there, what else have we got, old fracture it says, well that looks like it's got two lines, or three lines I should say, um, I like this puzzle. I think a puzzle might be a little bit of a stretch, but it's all right. Oh, so we've got a four, a three, and a seven. Hard to tell. That's what it is. And a 12. Well, I'm pretty sure that must be the code to this lock here. And do you know what? It is. So we want four. And we want 37. And then, what was it? 12. Beautiful. And it even tells us which way we have to go. So you don't even have to work that out. Ugh. 
Uh, this room is uh, the stuff of nightmares. And what is that going to yield us today? That sounds like wet flesh tearing. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, we have a filthy bracelet. Looks like we've got the whole set now. Not great. Not great at all. So, let's go back down to the director's office. Because we have everything we need. Yeah, the game is still lagging like crazy. Like, you'll be at like, over 100 frames a second, and then the game just drops right down to, like, like the high 50s. It's really badly optimized. Like, <sighs> Unreal Engine 5 is just such a problematic engine. And it's a shame. Okay, so, this is a bit... Uh, of a thing. Um, right, we need to do that one, don't we? So we need some bracelets. I believe... i trying to remember this now. Uh, I think the blood-stained one goes on the top. And you've got to find the clear set of numbers. The marked bracelet is next I think and these two might be the wrong way around yeah they are there we go excellent so that yields us a director's storage room key ah okay well let's use that There is the missing button, the safe button. Strange object. Ah, it looks like we've got a bit of a book puzzle here. I'm sure this will be important. Now you don't I don't think we actually have to solve this. Uh but we kind of may as well. Right. What are we looking like? That there, that there. What? Ah, these two are in the wrong place. Or were they? Uh, there we go. Nope, not quite. There we go. Beautiful. Now. That actually shows us the safe um, combination there. It's kind of a thing. It's a bit of an ordeal. Um, but we actually, the code we actually want is written there. It's 92-4571. That's the code, right? Uh, and you essentially need to just check out what numbers correlate with what symbols. Took me a little, well, I wouldn't say a little while, but it took me a good 10 minutes or so to click with that one. Uh, we do not want that. We want to put the majig in. There we go. So, we need the that one, I believe. <clears throat> we need that one uh it's another circle we need that one <clears throat> which is like the masculine symbol i guess um yeah that one uh that one that one uh i think it's that one yeah cool and that gives us the keys to the rooftop. Their images became blurry, melting together. I could no longer tell. Not sure if I can do it, but maybe you can. This will take you to where you need to be, though probably not the way you want 
to. And there's bound to be some pain involved. There always is. Alright. So, okay. So we've got a rooftop key. Seems like a good idea to go back to the roof then. Don't you think? So, we can just cut straight through. That will work. So that note, uh, I actually almost missed when I played this game the first time. Uh, on my first run through, I actually managed to collect everything, except for the uh, pictures. I must have missed a few of those pictures. But I basically collected everything. Um in one shot which i was very surprised about anyway guys we're going to save the game here because we're on like 36 minutes i didn't actually realize we we're that far through uh and then when we come back well when we come back we're going to go to the rooftops so thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time